Hello everyone and welcome back to the COP Council. Uh, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you are, then please uh, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, as you can see by the thumbnail, guys, this isn't going to be any reaction or any preview. Just going to be a little chat, you know, a little chat about a little bit of transfer talk. You know, we haven't really delved into transfer talk on the channel as much. And rightfully so, we don't need to yet because it isn't january or even at the end of december we are in the middle of november so yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna have a little chat and get your guys opinion and get my opinion of uh the thumbnail title which is is it going to be sancho 2020 or mbappe 2020 obviously uh since the nike kit deal uh was you know uh brought around and it was actually confirmed then uh because the high court situation uh obviously there's been a whole talk about Kylian Mbappe coming to Liverpool and all other things like that so yeah we'll just uh, talk a little bit into that but if you are new around here please like share and subscribe as always guys we are on the road to 100 subscribers which you know you guys lately have been brilliant on the channel I can't say anything more than that you have been absolutely brilliant but uh yeah uh we yeah just brilliant guys so thank you so so much for that but uh if you're not new around here hello again uh but yeah uh we are talking about uh Kylian Mbappe and Jaden Sancho now with the whole situation like I said uh ever since the night kit deal was revealed or talked about through the high court situation with New Balance obviously that it's been a, a big thing on Twitter and, and I mean a big big thing you know people getting really excited about the thought of Kylian Mbappe but um yesterday Klopp I don't know who he was speaking to uh I haven't quickly read up my research on this but he was speaking about Kylian Mbappe and he said that he doesn't think any club in the world can sign Kylian Mbappe right now uh which to be honest with you guys I kind of feel that I kind of feel the same way. I think that his contract situation with PSG and the amount of money in itself to just try and get Kylian Mbappe out of PSG would be... It'd be mental, guys. I think you're looking high 200 million estimate or even possibly even more than that with the way the contract situations are these days. Like, you know, I've I, I seen a few rumours going around that Liverpool... We're planning a two hundred and fifteen million pound bid for Kylian Mbappe, and you know I don't think that's the Liverpool way. I don't think that's ever been the Liverpool way. You know, of course we did sign Virgil Van Dijk and Allison for a tremendous amount of money, but you know seventy five million doesn't look it end two hundred and odd million, is it, guys? But uh, yeah it's it's just a money game to be fair if you're gonna get a future possibly future Ballon d'Or winner you're gonna have to cough out a lot of money and I just don't think Liverpool are gonna do it I just don't think they are me personally but uh yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below I think that it's one of these things in it where if if he, his contract would run out I'd sign him up like that I think what Klopp said, I think football ability-wise, you would want to sign him 100%. And I absolutely agree with that. Uh, you, Kylian, Kylian Mbappe is a world, world-class player. I think he's, in my opinion, anyway, top five players in the world. You know, <sighs> he is tremendous and at such a young age as well. He, he is one for the future because he still has, what, another 10 years of playing football at the highest level. So... You know, it would be a long-term investment. I'm not saying that it wouldn't be. But, you know, I just think with the way that the price would actually be, I think it's way out of Liverpool's price range. So, yeah, I think Klopp was in an interview and he was talking about the Mbappe and he kind of killed off the Mbappe rumours. And I think that, realistically, guys, I don't think we're signing Kylian Mbappe. It's nice to dream. But, yeah, for me, it's not. But then, Dominic King uh, tweeted out, or I think put out something in saying that Liverpool uh, will make Jadon Sancho Liverpool's prime target for next summer, which I thought was quite interesting because obviously we already have uh, Mohamed Salah on that right-hand side and we have Shakiri, but obviously there are some rumours that Shakiri is not happy at the club, the way he's not getting first-team football. Excuse me, he's obviously not getting first-team football, like I just said. 
but you know is that is that a sign of Shakiri's going to go and he's going to bring in Jaden Sancho possibly it's it's a possibility guys uh but you know i think for Jaden i think he's recently signed a contract as well which i think now puts his price tag over like 120 million which that in my opinion isn't out of Liverpool's price range because obviously with the TV money, I think Liverpool were the first team ever in history to record like something like 250 million in TV money alone. And then obviously you've got the night kit deal that's coming in. The supposed rumour with that is 30 million a year and then a 20% income on all merchandise, which takes it anywhere between 80 to 100 million. It could potentially be. We don't really know with that yet, guys. But yeah, it's around that. And, you know, the, the amount of money coming in, for Liverpool and I think what 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 was clever in this past summer window as well was that Liverpool didn't spend anything big let's be honest I think we spent like 1.7 million I think that was practically on Seb van der Berg so you know obviously bringing in Adrian for free and you know we didn't sell anyone as well uh, I think we kept the whole squad apart obviously from Alberto Moreno and Daniel Sturridge we actually kept the whole team so I think that was a huge positive for Liverpool but for me I think it's way early to talk about pe people depart in Liverpool but I think maybe next summer uh, once this season is over I do think two players are going to leave I don't, I'm not going to say who they are guys because I want to start like you know speculation or anything obviously I will say one person uh, Shakiri, I think might leave which will allow Jaden Sancho to come in does that mean that one of the front three will leave absolutely not uh, in my opinion I don't think the front three will leave especially next summer uh, maybe two or three years time maybe they will start to leave but for, for right now guys I don't think any of the front three again sold I don't think Klopp is finished with this front three I think this front three have way 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 uh, a lot lot more to give let's just say that and you know at the current stage you know we're top of the Premier League we're champions of Europe can we possibly this season go on to do the double I certainly believe so hopefully after the game tomorrow against Manchester City we can be nine points clear and we can have a little bit of a breathing gap for there. But uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts anyway, guys, on that whole situation. Uh, you know, what I want to answer at the club, absolutely. You know, there's a reason why Pep Guardiola was so keen to keep him. But, you know, he wanted to get first team football. He wanted to be a star at a club and he went to Germany, went to Bayern Munich. Uh, not Bayern Munich, sorry, sorry. Not Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund. They are actually playing right now. I think uh, Bayern Munich are winning that game as well, uh, on time of recording anyway. But yeah, uh, went to Borussia Dortmund and has just excelled. <laughs> excelled tremendously at Borussia Dortmund. You know, becoming easily their star player. Uh, and, you know, just making a name for himself. And, you know, I think that, I think that was a true sign of a, a real character there. I think, you know, it's easy. And, like, look at uh, Phil Foden at Manchester City. You know, I've seen Man City fans saying that, like, oh, he's been promised game time and all like that. But then I, I never see Phil Foden play, apart from maybe one or two games in the Champions League. I don't see him starting a league game, which, you know, if that was Sancho, now he probably wouldn't even be on a Champions League bench or Premier League bench. And look how much talent he actually has. So if Liverpool are interested in him, I'm happy with that. I'm happy wherever Klopp signs. Let's be honest, guys. Like, wh what do we know about football? Pretty much nothing compared to Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen Klopp knows. Well, he knows, Donny. He? he knew with Virgil van Dijk, he could sort out the defence. He knew with Alisson. He knew with Mo Salah. He knew with Gini Wijnaldum. You know, it's just Jurgen and this... Uh, transfer committee that we have they just know they just know other players as well that are being rumored anyway and being mentioned are Timo Werner Timo Werner obviously doing uh, really well right now with RB Leipzig uh, in the Bundesliga as well so you know there are plenty of names that are currently going around the pot at the minute and you know let us know your thoughts anyway guys on who you think uh Liverpool will sign in January or maybe next summer do you think we'll sell anyone next summer or in January or do you think you know we're gonna swap anyone for anyone you know just let me know your thoughts this has just been like a little talk video 
uh, you know, so, you know, if you do like these videos, guys, please let me know, because we will do plenty more. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks or next couple of months, we will be doing live streams uh, on the channel so we can interact a bit more. You know, I want to get this channel. I want to get your thoughts uh, really on this channel. And I really want to get your thoughts generally, well, in general about Liverpool. You know, Liverpool is such a, a fan based community. And, you know, we just need to talk to one another and, you know, just share ideas and, you know, just bounce off one another then you could say but uh yeah that's been my thoughts anyway and a little bit of opinions on the whole Jaden sancho and mbappe will it be mbappe 2020 or sancho 2020 for me it's sancho 2020 at the minute you never know what can happen in football but uh yeah that's just been my thoughts if you guys did like the video then uh please like share and subscribe as always guys we are on the road to 100 subscribers which you know once we get there, guys, it would be massively appreciated. And there might be a special giveaway for you guys to win. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's it from you guys. Uh, I've been Connor from the COP Council. And I will see you all in a bit. Ta-ra.